All right, Mr. Dell here. So we have a problem we're going to be graphing from a table of values. And then from that line that we create, we'll determine its slope. So this is from CPM's CC3, section 7.2.3, number 61. It says graph the points on the table, graph the points in the table at right and draw a line. So here's my table of values, my X, my Y. Then it says find, then find three different ratios to describe the slope of the line. So first of all, let's graph these points. Remember, this is my Y axis. This is my X axis. And I'm just going to use a scaling of one. So everything is by ones. So zero, one. So X is zero. Y is one. That's that point right there. Zero comma one, two comma six. X is two. Y is six. Right there. Five. Uh, 13.5. Ooh, that might not fit on my graph. I'm going to skip that one for now. Negative two. Negative four is right here. Negative four. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Negative nine. One, two, three, four. Nine. Okay. Yeah. So we're not going to use the five 13.5 just because unfortunately I don't have a, didn't have my graph big enough. So then I scaled by ones, but this will work. We'll get what we need. So from those four points, I noticed they're all in a line, right? So I graphed my line. So they want three different ratios to describe the slope. So that's looking at what are these slope triangles that I can make, right? So I can see from this point to this point, there's a slope triangle. And that's one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So it's a vertical uh, distance of five and a horizontal distance of two, okay? Remember that slope, slope is always your uh, vertical, vertical change over the horizontal change. Abbreviate that. Uh, we also may known known as the rise over run is another way to describe that slope. So if I look at this, and my rise of five, my run of two, or vertical change of five, vertical change of horizontal change of two. So there's one way to describe the slope is five over two. So but could I get another one? Sure, I can now, I could extend this triangle, make it a larger triangle from this point to this point. If I did that, then from there to there would be 10, from here to here is four, right? So I could actually describe this as also 10 over four. And if I even want to get a, a, a bigger triangle, a uh, slope triangle, I can have this one here, which would go from this point all the way to this point. So I can extend it that way and we'd look, each of those are five, so that would be 15. So this is a total of 15 and this is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's another description of slope is 15 over six. So each of those are proportional, equal ratios, I should say. They're, they're um, equivalent ratios to describe the slope. Okay, there we go.